Hello students. In the last video, we learned about the three important trig ratios, the sine of an angle, the cosine of an angle, and the tangent of an angle. And what we're going to do now is start to use those to find um, such things as the value of the tangent of an angle and also the length of some unknown sides. So have a look at this question first. The question is, find the exact value of tangent of theta. So looking at the diagram, there's angle theta. It's a right angle triangle. And the first thing we're going to do, because it's the first thing we always do, is we're going to identify the opposite adjacent and hypotenuse. So opposite the right angle is the hypotenuse. So I put a capital H just there. Opposite the angle we're interested in, or the angle we know, is the opposite side. So the opposite side is 15 centimeters. And the angle, sorry, the side that is next to the angle of interest is the adjacent side. So always start by writing down O, H, and A on the appropriate sides of the right angle triangle. OK, now the question is all about the tangent of an angle. So hopefully um, in your exercise book, you've written down SOHCAHTOA. We're interested in this. The tangent ratio is the opposite side over the adjacent side. So the first thing I always write, the first thing I always write is the trig ratio that I'm going to use to solve the question. So in this case, I write tangent of the angle is the opposite over the adjacent. So TOA is just a shortcut for remembering that. So we're trying to find the exact value of that. So what I have to do in place of the opposite side, I'm going to write its length, which is 15. I'll put the units on at the end. In fact, I won't put the units on because it's a ratio. We don't need units. And the adjacent side is 20, 20 centimeters or just 20. And there's the answer. The tangent of the angle is 15 over 20. Now we can, of course, simplify that. And generally, we try to write our ratios as simply as possible. Fractions are the usual way to do it. You could turn that into a decimal. Um, both of those divide evenly by 5. So I could actually write that in simplified form as the tangent of the angle is 3 quarters. And that's the answer. OK, let's have a look at the next question. Let's find the exact values of each of these ratios for this particular triangle. So what do you think the first thing I'm going to do is? And hopefully you said, oh, you're going to identify each of the three sides. So opposite the right angle is the hypotenuse. So that gets an H. Opposite the angle of interest, the opposite side is there, which is 7 centimeters. And the adjacent side, which is the one that's next to the angle, is 24 centimeters. So always start by identifying the three sides of the triangle. Well, I might do C and then let you have a go at A and B. So I start by saying cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse. Well, the adjacent side is 24. The hypotenuse is 25. So in fact, I'm going to put um, adjacent over hypotenuse. That's the formula, and the adjacent is 24, and the hypotenuse is 25. So the answer is, cause of the angle that we're interested in is 24 over 25. OK, have a go at um, questions A and B, please. I'll stop the video. Once you finish, turn it back on. You can check your answers. OK, let's see how you went. So the tangent ratio is the opposite over the adjacent. Well, that's going to be 7 over 24. So tangent is opposite over adjacent. And that's going to be 7, sorry, 7 over, oh, yep, tangent 7 over 24. I was getting a bit confused there, but I think that's correct. Opposite over adjacent, opposite over adjacent. The sign from our little uh, shortcut up here, a little mnemonic, as we call it, is opposite over hypotenuse. The opposite side is 7. The hypotenuse is 
25. And I'll put the equal sign in, and there we go. So if you know the three sides of a right angle triangle, you can write down the exact value of the sine, cos, and tan of the angle of interest. Okay, that's the end of this video, then we'll move on and actually find some unknown sides in the next video.